Hey guys, it's Tim from Egoski San Diego South. Uh, I got Justin Archer here, hey guys. my trusty assistant. What we're going to show you today are some easy to do exercises for uh, any foot or ankle pain you may have, even uh, shin splints. These will be some great exercises for that. Uh, or just some good exercises to keep your, uh, your feet and ankles healthy and, and working properly. First one is uh, foot circles and point flexes. So what you're going to do is you're going to have one leg flat on the floor. Perfect. The other leg, you're going to bring that knee up towards your chest so you can get your hands underneath the knee. Good. This foot, you want to keep that toe pointing straight to the ceiling. And then with this foot and ankle, what I'd like you to do is just going to circle that foot and ankle 20 times in one direction. And then you switch, go 20 in the opposite. Good. And then you do 20 point flexes where you point the toes and flex them back. And then switch, do the same thing on the other leg there. Next exercise we're going to do is called a supine calf and hamstring stretch. And go ahead and grab that belt there, Justin. So, like I said, you use a belt. You, if you got a strap, like a yoga strap, like this, it works well. Put one loop of that strap underneath the, uh, the foot there, just below the toes. So, right around the ball of the foot. And you know, extend that leg. Make sure the first position, you want both knees to be level, like so here. All right. And you're just going to hold on to the strap or the belt with one hand. The other hand's relaxed out to your side. And what you want to focus on is pulling those toes down towards you and keeping the quad muscles tight, these front, those front thigh muscles there. And you want to really focus on these quad muscles doing most of the work of holding the leg uh, in, in the position. Hold that for about a minute, and then what you'll do is you'll have, uh, move that strap down to your heel. Good. And the same thing, keep the quad muscles tight. You want to try to lift your leg up as high as you can, making sure that the, uh, the back of your, of your hip doesn't lift, lift up off the floor. Toes pulled down, and again, hold that position for about one minute. All right, good. After that, the next exercise you're going to do is called the static extension position. So while Justin, roll over onto your hands and knees. Good, feet on that end. So you want to start in this position here, where you got your hips above your knees, you got your shoulders right above your wrists. Now from here, what you want to do is walk your hands forward one hand length. Perfect. Good. Then you want to shift forward so that your shoulders are right over your hands and wrists again. Good. And then what you want to do is try to let your shoulder blades sink together here without letting your elbows bend. That allows the low back to arch. And it's going to hold that position there for, you're going to try for two minutes. Key with this one is making sure those elbows don't bend. Arms stay straight. Let those shoulder blades sink together. And then you also want to let your head relax all the way down. Again, hold that for about two minutes. All right, after that, last exercise we're going to do is called the air bench. So the last exercise we're going to do is the air bench. So what you want to do, you want to find a nice sturdy wall like this one here. And basically you're going to walk your feet away from the wall. Make sure your feet are pointing straight ahead. And you're going to sit down here like you're sitting in a, in a, a visible bench. Hold this if you can for two minutes. Uh, if not, just go as long as you can each day. Try to build up, go a little bit longer each day. You want to focus on a couple of things here. One is making sure the weight stays in your heels. The other is you want to try to press your low back flat against the wall. Other than that, have fun doing it.